Welcome back to my channel. Today's date is July 27th, 2021, and this is your daily download for Tops Project 70. But of course, this is a no hat card. So for me, I have gone nearly over 100 cards without a no hat card. So I was very, very happy. So that's how teams buy Omen Allen for me personally. That was an automatic buy. Although I haven't bought the card yet, I always buy my cards within the last five to six hours. So take it for what it's worth when it comes to hitting eight foils and two golds, but we will see where that print run lands. Hopefully we get to see the print run in the next couple of days, unless Tops is just too busy to release the print runs again this week as the set progresses. But my name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website is where you wanna go for everything related to Project 70. And that is simply CRTSportsCards.com. And as of this morning, I have gone ahead and released the new updated checklist for everybody to use. The checklist now can be searched by any term you would like. I think it's a very, very positive upgrade. And of course, the website overall is still being upgraded in the background. That should be live here very, very soon. And I do also want to quickly correct the record from last night's episode. I mentioned the fact that Tops released all 20 print runs yesterday from last week's cards. We actually did not receive the print runs from the Friday cards after the buying window ended on Monday. I mistakenly didn't check the website before I recorded, and I just presumed they were on the website, but no, they are not there. So tomorrow at the National, somebody should ask Tops if they're not published by then, hey, what are the print runs from the Friday cards? But in all seriousness here, don't go bug Tops for the print runs. It's just funny that those did not get published on Monday. It is though, for the national shaping up to be a very, very strong week for the set. We had some very, very strong cards get released today, and we also have a monster card releasing tomorrow. And yes, it's easy to call an Alex Pardee a monster card, but that is exactly what it is. When you take a look at it being Fernando Tatis Jr., also included with that Tatis is going to be an out of 99, his birth year chase card. And then you also mix in the national. What we don't know right now is how this set can perform when the casual non-project 2020 or 70 fan sees this product. What kind of advertising is Topps gonna do at the national for Project 70? I hope it is a lot. I hope they have these artists front and center all week long because this set, along with Project 2020, are certainly one of a kind set. So the sky is the limit on this Tatis. Will we see 15? Will we see 20,000? I don't know. Those are very, very large numbers, but everything right now is trending in that direction for just an incredibly high print run on this Tatis. But now what is the very first rule at the national? Do not spend all of your money on day number one at the first table you stop at after you enter into the convention center. This is a five day marathon, so do not spend all of your money on that Alex Pardee Tatis because today in Project 70, there were some very, very strong cards. I do have to say, there is a 1971 Topps card. So a day after no hat, I get a 71 Topps card. So I could not be more pleased with these releases today. First up, we had Babe Ruth by Ermsey. We also had Chuck Stiles, who will be at the National with a Roberto Clemente. We had Brittany Palmer with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then we had Matt Taylor with his Doc Ellis. And so kind of odd overall, the fact that we had two Pittsburgh Pirates release on one single day, but it's very, very clear when you think about Doc Ellis in Project 70, four of the five artists that have released a card have hinted and talked about his no hitter. Natural is of course the only artist that has not talked about or highlighted that aspect in his card and it was intentional, but this is not a slight here on this card at all. I would highly recommend you check out Matt Taylor's Instagram post about this card, about why he did it. He talks about other artists in his posts. He shows his reference material. There's a lot of cool things with this card that I missed originally. Now I miss a lot of things at the beginning, but it's really worth the read because Matt Taylor goes deep on this card and it's definitely worth your time to check it out. And so while we're on the topic of docs, Yes, there are no other docs releasing today in the set, but this next card has made me think about Doc Holiday, And of course, not Doc Holiday from Tombstone, but Roy Halliday from the Toronto Blue Jays. 
We had Brittany Palmer with her Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This is the sixth Guerrero we've seen so far in the set. Also the sixth card from 2010 and the eighth Blue Jay. But it's that logo. When I see that logo, for some reason, I associate that logo of the Blue Jays, the early 90s, with Roy Halladay. And I just don't know why I do, but I do. But also on Guerrero, when I first saw it, I thought it was Lourdes Goriel Jr. So this to me is not a Guerrero card. It is at the end of the day, but when I see it, I see Halliday and I see Guriel. But now when I see the Chuck Styles Roberto Clemente, what I see in my mind is just pure perfection. This card nails Roberto. This card nails 1971 Tops Perfect. Yes, I have liked a couple of the artists taking some blue approach with 71 Tops, but you cannot beat the Black Border 71 Tops. My question though for everyone who collects Chuck Styles, I do not myself, I have seen numerous comments where they didn't like the Andrew McCutcheon. They didn't like the turn that card took from his set. I don't understand the big difference of that McCutcheon, but for me, this card is just perfect. But now thinking and knowing are two drastically different things. And Ermsey here with his Babe Ruth takes us inside the mind of Babe Ruth. All of us as baseball fans, aficionados, we would all love to just live one day inside the head of Babe Ruth to think about what that man thought about, how he approached the game. It would just be a tremendous experience, really out of body because it can never happen. But Ermsey here takes us down the men in black path with this card. This is a horizontal card. This is the 84th Yankee in the set, and it's also the 10th Babe Ruth. So welcome to the double digit club Babe Ruth. But all that I know right now is that I need to go pack my bag for Chicago because I have a 7 a.m. flight I have to catch. And so with that, this will complete your daily download for Project 70 on July 27th, 2021. Are you possibly waiting to buy it on the secondary market for a little bit lower than retail. But my name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore square. I can't even talk.